Hi everyone, Alejandro Diaz here at TP Link, and welcome to episode two of our Omada video tutorial series. And we're going to create a subnet for each of these networks and then bind uh, an SSID to them. And we're going to make one of these SSIDs a guest network to prevent them from communicating with the rest um, of your networks. So if you join me over here, we're going to go to our controller. Right now I'm on site view. Make sure you're in site view and not in global view at the top right here. Uh, and here in our first site, I already um, adopted the devices in our previous video. So we have a router, we have a switch, and we have an access point. So the goal of today's practice is that we want to create a few different networks, um, create a subnet for each of these networks, and then we're going to bind SSIDs to them. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to settings, wired networks, LAN. As you can see, we already have our default LAN 192.168.0.1. We want to just want to create a new LAN. Let's say that this is for a uh, home and we want to create a uh, general Wi-Fi and then an IoT Wi-Fi and then one for our guests. So this is going to be our general <clears throat> network. We're going to create this as an interface so that we can add some layer three capabilities to it. So just type your LAN ports. And we're going to give it a VLAN ID. For this example, we're going to use VLAN 10. And we're going to create a subnet of 192.168.10.1.24. This will give you the option to update your DHCP pool down here. You can do it manually if you prefer as well. We're going to update it. And you can see how this line here automatically populates. It will automatically create or fill in the whole block. So I'm going to edit that part and I'm going to do from 100 to 200. That'll give me some room if I ever want to do some static um, IP addressing or something of the sort. And that's it. That's all you need to do. We're going to create this. And here you see that we have our second uh, network, 192.168.10.1. So we're going to create a new one. This one, we're going to call it IoT. We'll create as an interface. Make sure you check your ports. This one, we're going to call it VLAN 20. And the subnet we're going to give it is 192.168.20.1.24. We're going to update our range. And again, I'm going to modify it. That's it. I'm going to save it. There you go. We have the second network here. And last but not least, we're going to create our guest network. So we're going to call this guests. We'll make sure to type your, your ports. VLAN 30. And we're going to give it a subnet of 192.168.30.1 slash 24. Update the DCP range. And here we're going to put 100. To 200. That's it. We're going to save it. And there you go. We have our default LAN, and then we have our general, our guests, and our IoT network, VLAN 10, 20, and 30, respectively. So now, <clears throat> what we want to do next is we want to create an SSID for each one of these networks. So we're going to go here to wireless networks, WLAN. We're going to create our first SSID. This one we're going to call um, general. Here you can def define which bands you want to broadcast this SSID uh, on. I would recommend to use both bands um, so that with the use of band steering, you can uh, steer clients to the 5G when they have the same name. We're going to keep the same name on both bands. Here each time we're going to use our WPA personal and we're going to create a password for this. We're going to call this TP Link 2024. There we go. Now we're going to go here to advanced settings. And here in the section that says VLAN, we're going to switch it to custom and we're going to bind this SSID to our general network. There's two ways that you can do this by network or by VLAN ID. Both achieve the same purpose. If you choose by network, all you need to do is select 
the network you want to bind to this SSID here, in our case, would be general. Or if you choose by VLAN ID, you just put here the VLAN ID number. We're going to leave it by network and choose general. And then we're going to save it. That's it. As you can see, the general SSID has been created on both bands and is using the VLAN ID number general. We're going to do the same thing for the IoT network. We're going to call this IoT. Now, usually IoT devices only work on the 2.4 band. So I'm only going to broadcast this SSID on the 2.4 band. And I'm going to give it a security key of IoT2024. Exclamation mark. There you go. Down here, we'll go to VLAN. And this one we're going to do it the other way. Key, we're going to do VLAN. I think it was 20, right? Not 20. So then ID, we're going to put VLAN ID 20. And apply it. And that's it. Here's our second SSID bound to VLAN 20. And now we're going to create our guest SSID. We're going to call this guests and now we're going to check this box here that says guest network checking this box will automatically block every client connected to this ssid from accessing any private subnet so we're going to check the box and then we're going to give it a security uh, a password of two two three four five six seven eight nine super secure password same thing go here to custom network guests Apply it, succeed it. Now you can see that this guest SSID has already been created on both bands. VLAN ID is going to be 30, and it has a check mark here on the column that says guest network. So now we're going to test it and check if it works. We're going to go down here to our wireless networks. You can see that IoT is already showing, and we have our general here and guest. So we're going to connect on general. And the password was TP link. 2024. Yeah, it's connected. If we go here to the little I, you can see that IP address that I got is 192.168.10.100. So we got the appropriate address from the appropriate VLAN. Now we're going to just close this. We're going to connect to the IoT one. Here, the password was IO. P 2024 exclamation next there it is it's connected now we go to our information here and we're going to check our IP address and see it has a 192.168.20.100 so we got the appropriate address from the appropriate VLAN now we're going to connect to our guest network I'm going to find it here Once it's connected, we're going to go to our information and see here that we got 192.168.30. That's it. That's how you can have multiple networks bound to multiple SSIDs, and each SSID will have their own subnet. Uh, as a last note, because I have a router here in my Omada SDN solution, my router will automatically communicate all of my networks. You may not want your IoT network to communicate with the general network or any other network to stop communicating with another network because by default they will communicate things to a router. So to overcome that, you will need to create a, an access control list to prevent one network from communicating with the other. To achieve that, we'll go to settings, network security, ACL, and we want to create this rule at the switch level. To create a new rule, I'm going to call this block IoT. And I'm going to deny the traffic for all protocols. The source, I'm going to choose network. And the destinations, I'm going to choose network. And I don't want IoT to communicate with general or guests this will create a new a, a unidirectional rule. What I want to do is I want to go back down here where it says advanced settings and I want to enable this bidirectional option here. 
Enabling this will create the same rule in the other way so that these two networks cannot communicate with IoT. So if I create it, you'll see that it has created two rules for me. So if I were to connect to the IoT network, I would not be able to ping the general or the guest network. Make sure to apply an ACL um, list whenever you create multiple networks so that you um, don't communicate them with another. And there you have it. We created our networks, created our SSIDs, we bound those SSIDs to those networks, and then we created an access control list to prevent some networks from communicating with each other. In our next video, we will create a guest portal for our guest SSID, and we're gonna create some vouchers for uh, any client that wants to connect to it. Keep tuned for our next episode and see you around.